Hey, what's up guys? Krister here, back again with another gear review, and today we're having a closer look at the Ziyun Crane 3-axis handheld gimbal stabilizer. The Xeon Crane is a 3-axis handheld gimbal stabilizer designed primarily for compact mirrorless cameras. It is a CNC aluminum body powered by three highly efficient and quiet brushless motors with three microcontroller units running in parallel at 4K Hz. All the technical data simply means that the crane can quickly, efficiently, and quietly compensate for and stabilize cameras in motion. The motors allow for a full unlimited 360 degree rotation in all axes, giving you the ability to handle the crane in all conceivable positions. The Xeon Crane ships with a tough plastic case. Although not Pelican case quality, this will definitely do the job. Inside you'll find the gimbal, the handle, two sets of 2000 mAh batteries, a charger, a micro USB cable, a set of screws and a plastic lens support. The body is made out of CNC aluminum with a matte black finish which feels very tough and rugged. As I mentioned in my unboxing video, I was quite unsure of the integrity of the paintwork and I was pleasantly surprised. It has held up pretty well apart from some minor scratches on the edges due to some normal wear and tear. I honestly don't care much about the paintwork but this may be important to some. Here are some issues that I've encountered. This grip handle is not grippy at all. The round tube finished with a matte black paint provides little to no friction. And that gets compounded if you start getting sweaty hands from normal use. It then becomes an uncomfortable forearm workout just to keep grip of this whole rig. Ergonomics was probably not taken into much consideration during the design stages. Also, in a stark contrast to the excellent quality of the metal body, the plastic components feel flimsy. This holds true to the directional joystick in the grip and most especially the charger end cables. I don't even think the battery charger will survive a table height drop, so I'm extra careful with it. Through proper technique and practice, the crane delivers buttery smooth stabilization. Keep in mind that it only compensates for the pan, roll, and tilt movements. All vertical movements rely on technique. Prior to the crane, I was using Steadicam type stabilizers, which made the transition very easy. However, if you're expecting to stabilize your footage while running around without a care in the world, this or any product for that matter will not do that. Out of the box, the first step is to attach and balance your camera. Balancing is fairly easy and took me about 10 minutes the first time. Once you get the hang of balancing it, the setup time from case to pace should be right about 10 minutes. Once you're up and running, the crane works as it should. It is designed to carry a payload of 1.2 kilos or right about 2.65 pounds. A firmware update will enable it to carry a little bit more, but I shoot with a GH4 and a 12-35 lens, which is extremely light to begin with, so I didn't need the update. It has three modes which can be accessed by pressing the directional joystick. The pan and tilt follow mode will continuously follow where you point the gimbal handle. The locking mode, as the name suggests, will lock in one direction and will not move regardless of where you point it to. The third mode is the pan follow mode which I personally use all the time. Function wise, it perfectly does what it's supposed to do and I have absolutely no qualm over it. It also has excellent battery life and the two sets provided will definitely last you more than a day of shooting. In terms of value, this is definitely the best bang for your buck. Although I should say that this is not cheap at $650, this is one of the more affordable options for its payload and function class. Initially, I was looking into the Came TV Optimus, which is right about $1,300. And like I said during the unboxing, 
Had it not been for KMTV's website having no credit card payment option, I wouldn't have looked into other options and found this. I have to say that I was a little bit skeptical of the Ziyun brand because I honestly have not heard much about them compared to KMTV. But I must say that I'm very happy with my purchase. If you can get over the flimsy plastic components, this is definitely an excellent product. As of today's recording, more options are now out in the market, but I honestly have not looked into them. So that's my concise review on the Zion Crane 3-axis handheld gimbal stabilizer. If you have further questions on topics which I may have not covered, feel free to hit me up in the comments section down below. Also, if you want to see more review videos on travel and vlogging film equipment, you may want to consider subscribing. Okay, I'll see you on the next one then.